Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. So, uh, I, uh, I went ahead and I downloaded a bunch of new assets for, uh, like a bunch of new university assets, and some of them are going to show up here. Like I downloaded this, which does not look too great, but it is something. Um, but I downloaded a lot more than that. You know, I downloaded this it's like a forestry college um i don't know if that's a different campus dorm but I, I downloaded some new dorms college of art and design i think i think i i did not have the college of engineering that's a new thing that it's it's made by the same person who made the college of science um let's see and a lot of these i can't afford but uh this is a uh, a, a school of geology and this is a library uh, center specifically for a university. This is a, a dorm building, I think, an expensive one, um, a research institute, and then, you know, a bunch of different schools. There is a, uh, there's a moderate, you know, I don't, I can't remember his name, but, uh, or their name rather, but they, they have like a bunch of these university assets um that you can pull from like there is so much here um you know so there there's a lot we can work with and it also opens things up for future universities in our city because obviously this isn't going to be the only one but uh you know it opens up a lot of paths for us and i'm excited um you know because we can kind of do you know it, it gives us a lot more freedom i also downloaded a normal american football stadium um which you know what we might not place in this university because i don't know if it would make a whole lot of sense you know this isn't a big this isn't a big university you know by any by any metric but uh i mean maybe it's a maybe. We'll think about it. To me, this is like this is like an artsy kind of school. You know, you've got like the school of uh, of art, <laughs> and then I mean, you have the school of science. But you know, I mean, that's for the for the, for the people that aren't feeling so artsy. Um, and uh, you know, I mean, we, we just we don't have a whole lot of space, which is why I don't I don't think putting a you know or I mean building a uh, a football stadium in here would be the greatest idea I don't think it would even make a whole lot of sense um, so you know when we work on a future university at some point I think that is definitely something that we can uh, we can pursue potentially but uh, for now we can we can kind of do what we want here you know, I'm, I'm waiting for more money to come in, and I would also like to to kind of figure out where I want to put more residential as well. Um, and what I was thinking, actually, was that I was going to was going to do it down here a little bit, and then, you know, have a kind of like a lower tax rate so that people aren't inclined to complain as much about the noise pollution. Slope too steep? What are you talking about? Alright, you know what? That's fine. That doesn't look all that great. Well, you know what? It doesn't look terrible, actually. Um, and then we can kind of do something like that. And then even, maybe... Buddy, I didn't ask you to curve. There we go. Uh, do something like that. Just I'm just trying to maximize the space. Um, I gotta make sure that you know we've got water all throughout here. I mean, the water treatment plant is like right there, so you know I definitely don't think that people will, are gonna want to be like right across from this thing, but you know we can put some businesses down here, some offices maybe. We just don't have any demand for it, so. I'm not going to do that. Um, you guys can go ahead and 
zone in there and there and here and I'm gonna hope and you know I mean you guys are definitely gonna be annoyed by the uh, the what's it called the the recycling center you know because it is gonna be kind of loud and obnoxious um, so I will I'm gonna create a new district here and uh, lower the tax rate um, specifically here so that people are more inclined to live here and be okay with it because hey you're not paying nearly as much in taxes you know yeah you gotta live kind of close to a to a fucking uh um <laughs> to a to a uh to a water treatment plant in a recycling center but you know I mean you're paying less in taxes you know I'm specifically doing this so that you pay less in taxes um alright let's implement some policies here uh, we're gonna we're gonna want to recycle, and I think that I should do that in every district as well. I don't know if I if that's something that I've implemented in every district, but um, we're gonna want to do that, and then taxation, we're gonna do tax relief for people living here. Um, so that they'll be more inclined to live here, and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go here and uh, make sure that people. Well, you know what? I'm gonna here they can they can be for recycling, but like you know over here in this way where the incineration plant is closer, they don't need to recycle. Um, but here, I definitely think they should be recycling. It'll help alleviate some of the garbage problems too I think um, you guys can have it normal you guys you guys are covered by by the incineration plant it's really this area over here that I'm trying to to appease a little bit more um, all right so go ahead and come on in hopefully you know it doesn't bother you too much also, yeah, you know, for whatever reason, these houses are still not coming in, which I, you know, this was an issue um, a few episodes ago where the houses were just not coming in. Like, you know, the, the demand would be there and then it would die down once the, the plots were there and then the houses would never actually build. Um, so I don't know. I guess we have to wait for uh um for things to kind of work themselves out because I don't think there's anything I can do really to to alleviate that um and really you know like I just want more taxpayer income so that I can afford to finish off this uh, this university but I can't really do that if I uh, you know if they aren't moving in you know I, 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 I don't know what causes this bug but it's a weird one excuse me what are you you are a garbage truck alright you are allowed on here you know, I'm not happy about it, but you're allowed to be here. Um, what are you? You aren't allowed to be here. Oh, okay, you went to the sports pavilion. I guess that's fine. You know, I'm not not I'm not too happy about it, but uh, yeah, and it doesn't look like anyone is out and about today because it's raining.
look, can you... See, you'll, you'll, you'll designate the plots, but you won't actually build. Which I don't understand. Like, what's the deal, bro? Just, uh, just build. I mean, they haven't even started building over here. You know, I mean, the issue got fixed last time by me restarting the city um, for the next episode. Like, it took care of itself eventually. But, you know, I've already restarted the city once today. There we go. Alrighty, now everything is coming in. Beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, you know what? We need to build a high school. I forgot about that. Because uh, this area isn't necessarily covered by one. Uh, Well, you know what? We can build it right across from the water treatment plant. They can kind of deal with it, you know? Not my problem. You know, like, at the end of the day, high schoolers don't give a shit about anything. They'll be fine. These come in over here. They did. Look at that. Hell yeah. There we go. All right. So, everybody's all moved in here. I'm going to go ahead and put in a high school. I don't know if I downloaded any more high school assets. I think I just still have what I had before, which is fine. You know, I mean, I'm not going to go around uh, throwing in a bunch of high schools necessarily. I mean, these guys are covered, though, by this high school over here. I, it, it, it's really this area, I think, that is not too covered. But I don't know where to put it exactly, you know? I mean... We could like slap it. If anything, I'm gonna want to destroy some businesses to to get it in here, so we could put it in like right there. What did I just put in? That was the elementary school. Fuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
which is going to cost me a significant amount of money, but maybe this will appease you a little bit. And so there's fire station. Uh, I, you know, I, I mean, we have general city policies actually that I should probably incorporate, um, including this, 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 and this, you know, I have them incorporated in every, in every district anyway, but, uh, school's out. No. I mean, you, you motherfuckers, I, okay, I guess maybe you technically don't fall under the district, so I'll expand the district a little bit, and maybe that will appease you a little bit more, there we go, okay, so they just technically didn't fall into the district, alright, there we go, problem solved, nobody's gonna leave, no building is gonna go abandoned, um, you know, I, I want to finish off this university before I move and before I expand, but I keep having to buy new things, you know, like I, I had to put that fire station there because fire coverage is bad. I'm probably going to put a need, need to put a hospital nearby because we only have the one clinic over here. Um, and we can probably throw that I mean how well is or how good is the coverage going to be it's not going to be good at all if I put it there um, if I put it there I don't know it'll cover a decent amount I think we can afford to put it there And that'll kind of serve that area a little bit more. And then we can find a spot down here to put one as well. There you go. Because I do want to make sure we're covered. And I do have plans for a big hospital at some point, but I can't do that yet. Um... Because obviously I don't have the money for it, and I don't I don't even know where I would want to put it. Um, but over here I think we're gonna make this a little bit more of a hub. I think like a uh, you know like with bigger buildings and more going on. You know we've kind of already started to do, to do that here, but that's for the sake of building around the university. And I, I mean, even before we get over there, I want to incorporate mass transit too. Like I've been talking about that for a few episodes now and I just, I don't have the funds to like go through with that yet. Um, you know, so I don't know. I mean, let's look. You know, I mean, we can afford a bus depot, barely. Um, let's see. I mean, a bus depot does the same thing as a, as a bus station, I think. But, you know, I don't know. I think we'll have to, we'll have to see, because I mean, I definitely want to, to put that in soon, but I can't really yet. It's a kind of a lot of waiting that we're doing, which is unfortunate, but you know, there's nothing I can really do about it. Um, and this will probably be the road that we connect and bring over here, since it's the, I think, probably the biggest road in the entire city, so... And then I do want to make sure 
that these guys over here can get over here. So we'll uh, we'll probably divert or have the option to divert the highway over here. Um, you know, and they can merge onto a onto a new highway or something, and we'll ha and we'll run it through the center here or something, something like that. You know, it's it's food for thought. You know, obviously we can't do any of that right now. You know, and we'll see what happens in the future. But I think that that might be a uh, a relatively solid idea. Um, I think the next purchase we're going to make is a bus station. Um, you know, I definitely... I need to do that. You know, I can't wait around. The The university stuff can wait because it, none of it's mandatory. But a bus station, you know, especially with a, with a city at our size, is, you know, would be pretty essential I think you know especially with this kind of like downtown area over here um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that I mean we're, we're close to being able to afford it I think we'll end the episode once I put it in and put in all the bus stops um, and then we'll kind of go from there and we'll probably have to change some city policies as well I don't want to go with free public transportation yet because, like, I won't be able to afford that. Um, but maybe at some point in the future we can uh, we can we can go forward with that. All right, we can afford it. Um, I can't afford bus stops yet, though, so I should wait. Like, how much is a bus stop? Uh, well, I guess I I can't know until. I actually put one in, but all right. Oh, it's just barely too big. It'd be such a nice fit right here, but slope too steep. What are you talking about? All right, motherfucker. Well, uh, I mean, I can actually build that right there. Okay. All right. So now that that is in, we're gonna we're gonna put in our bus stops all over the place. They need to form a circular line. Okay, it was updated. Great, fantastic. Uh. So, I mean, we're going to... I mean, I'm going to want to create a new line. Probably as close to the bus station as possible. I don't want to go that way, though. I guess... Ah, I put it in a bad spot. I should put it on the other side of the road. Well, now I can't see. Hang on. Did did it, did I actually put it there? I don't think so. Um. Okay. All right. Let's try this again, because I uh, I want it to be, you know, efficient. Um. So we'll start there. Ooh, this is going to be... I think we're just going to run buses through this area here. They don't need buses out there. Um, you know, maybe I'll consider it in the future, but... Mm, we could, like... I think you add a stop there, maybe. And then you come up this way. And then we'll kind of loop back around. Like, I want this to be smart, you know. And now that I think about it, this definitely was not smart. 
So, can I undo that? Yeah, okay, there we go. So we've got one stop here. I want it to come in from the other side. There we go. And then we... Go along down on this side. And then we can kind of... Here we go. And then... We'll go back down this way. And then loop it back through here. Come on. Work with me here. There we go. Um, and then... I am going to want one, like, right in front of the university, I think. Maybe. It depends. I think, I mean... We can go, like, right here, and that would actually work. And then we can go down here. And then... Put one here. Kind of make sure these guys get serviced. Um, and then I want to come back. I want to... Keep forgetting that they go on the right side. Uh, and then... Here is good, and then we can, uh, here's good too, and then we can finish the line, ah shit, okay, wait, no wait, here we go, complete line, there we go, wow, there's a lot on the screen here, this is definitely that, that traffic management mod that I have going on. But okay, um, let's see. Yeah, wow, there is a lot going on uh, <laughs> uh, with uh, with my neighbors, huh? All right, well, you guys do you. I'm just gonna sit here and play video games. Um, I'm trying to think, you know, I. Add vehicle. Adds a new vehicle to the line. If this button is disabled, the selected depot has no vehicles left. I mean, I want to add... I do want to have, like, six or seven buses, you know. Probably, right? I don't know how much that's going to cost me, but... I think it'll be good, potentially. I mean... I Remove no, I think that'll be good. You know, there, I mean, there aren't a lot of people living here. Granted, but I also want it to be efficient. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how this kind of plays out. Now that we if we have these buses here, um, and there they go. So I, I designated seven buses. I don't know how many that means are going to actually come through. Are they going the right way? The idea was that you were supposed to follow this line. But I guess, you know, you're doing your own thing. Whatever. That's fine. You know, I, I mean, as long as people use it, perfectly fine by me. Doesn't look like anybody is using it yet, maybe. Oh, we got three people using it. There we go. Hey. You know what? It's there. Not a whole lot of people are going to use it, I think, but it's there. And, uh, 
Some people will use it, and that's all that matters. So uh, I think this is a good stopping point for us. I am going to... Well, I'll, you know what? I'll let it keep going since we're still making money. But, you know, our, our monthly income is plummeting here, so I don't want to... Um, I don't want to keep going for too long. Oh, it stopped. There we go. Um, but, uh, yeah, we, uh, we're in a pretty, uh, we're in a pretty good spot right now, you know, even still financially, which I thought incorporating mass transit was going to be a lot more expensive than it actually is. Um, so, you know, we're, we are definitely, you know, in a good position here. Um, and I think, you know, we're going to be able to continue to take the next big steps for, uh, for our city. So, anyway, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this episode of City Skylines, let me know down in the comment section below. Like the video and share it with your friends. Let me know you want to see more of any game series I do here on the channel. The link down to the game is in the description box below if you want to pick it up for yourself. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming content and play all sorts of games on my channel. Thank you guys very much for watching. Love you very much, and I will talk to you later.